All right, what am I looking at here? Julia Le Petit has uploaded a teaser image for season three of Draw Detectives. As far as teasers go, we do not have a lot to go on, people. There's just a picture frame and this beautiful abstract art that seems to be hanging on a wall. If anyone knows flower analysis, what the heck is this? Um, but maybe I should start from the beginning. Hi everyone, I'm Nathan, and if you're unfamiliar with the Drawfee series Draw Detectives, it's an amazing D&D-esque world where rookie detectives solve crimes using really dumb drawings. I happen to absolutely love this series, so I had this feeling of like wanting to draw fan art of a teaser image, and that's completely crazy. But then I also noted a friend of mine, Rebecca Roney, also commented on this image. You may know her from her Hitman Sona video, where she drew some secret sleepover society fan art. So I went to her DMs, and I proposed the idea of doing a little bit of a drawing challenge. Both of us come up with a description for our draw text Sonas, which are like what we would be if we were in the Draw Detectives universe. And we're both gonna send only the descriptions to each other, and we have to make a drawing of both of our characters interacting, and then we get to show each other and see how different it is. My character is Daiquiri Daiquiri's son. He's in his mid-twenties, college dropout, turned professional ballerina. He's gay and gullible, 6'4 and slender, and he has roomy eyes and an innocent smile. His hair is very pink. I don't know why I said it like that. And then Rebecca Roney's character description was of Nona Toxic, mid-twenties, she, they, fey creature who runs a maybe illegal flower cart of potentially deadly plants. Could be considered a dryad, wood spirit, goblin combo, grayish pale blue skin, and long floppy ears. Fashion is very power from Chainsaw Man plus streetwear, short as heck, neutral colors with pops of red and sunflower yellow. She has a very scrungly rat kid energy, but she also is the coolest bitch in town. Well, at least she thinks she is. So with our descriptions intact, it was now time to tackle the subject matter of the murder of this image. We both agreed that it should be post the latest season of Draw Detectives, and I certainly didn't have enough time to write an original murder mystery, so I went to Wikipedia and I used a random number generator and I got 12 and then I counted down the 12 books from Agatha Christie's Wikipedia page and I landed on this novel, The Floating Admiral, which is about this guy who was killed and he was found in a robo. So I have my murder mystery, I had everything, and then all's left to do now is to watch the speed draw with Rebecca Roney herself. Let's get into it. All right, we did it. The art is finished and I'm here with Rebecca Roney. Hello. That was me. That was her. So we both um, went away to our little corners of the world, West and East Coast. We drew how we interpreted these designs, and I just reacted to your designs. You did. So I just had a whole spiritual moment where all these decisions were made that were opposite of the decisions I made. And we've come to a couple of conclusions. One, your piece definitely happens after mine. It's the climax true. of this story of Daiquiri and Nona. True, true. Two, there is, um, my, <laughs> my piece is definitely the beginning. It is where it all started. And I, let's just say I made some different decisions. I'm excited to see them. Yeah, I'm excited for you to see it too. So I guess without further ado, we're gonna jump into it in three, Yay. in two, in one. All right, here we go. So I started with my background because <laughs> um, essentially what I did was I was like, I need a murder mystery. So I took a random, I randomly generated an Agatha Christie novel. Oh my God. And it was God. this, <laughs> And the murder in that particular novel, a captain is dead in a boat. Uh, and it's like a little rowboat. So I was like, oh, oh there's shit. a river walk. We're going to be in the country. And guess Ooh. what? We're going to have Daiquiri and Nona be discovering the body of the dead man. Oh. And so there they are. And so you you said short. Oh, you pose. said short as heck. And I interpreted that yeah. as a small, little, tiny, little gremlin. Oh you said goblin-like. <laughs> so in my mind. I did. No, this is good. Yeah, in my mind, I was oh. like, like, oh, oh, it's like a little Nona's like, <gasps> um, I don't know a ton about power, but I was like, oh, suit. So I have a little tie. I tried. Yeah. 
yeah. I tried making um, for like the nature spirit. I was really trying to do antlers, but then I end up doing these horns, oh. almost like Flaffy from the Pokemon. So they're like these ram horns, and yeah. and yeah, and Daiquiri's coming into existence now. Oh, um, look at him! Yeah, he has very spiky hair. Um, and he's Ooh. in a little ballet pose. I liked the idea that he was just always going to be doing some extravagant pose, which would be... I love that. Uh, yeah, it's fun, but also awful to animate if it was a real Draw Detectives <laughs> episode. Like, could you imagine? Um, but the assets would be so cute. Oh, seven. Um, so yeah, yeah, you can see Nona um, being a little... Oh, her little face. She's... Um, yeah, we talked about shoes. I, I just gave her little boots. Shoes! <laughs> um, Boots, in mine boots. and my character boots i love yeah it's just going to be in like little ballet slippers um yeah i i wasn't thinking too much about fashion i was just really focusing on the fact that you said rat like um so it's like rat kid yeah. energy so like this big hair oh that's kind of unkept and unruly but having this like uh -huh. suit but with these like yellow um like rubber boots i thought was very cute uh, and that was kind that's of decision that's so cute like rain boots <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, I'm looking at those. I'm looking at those. <laughs> Good for him. Like, he's a ballerina. He's got to be able to move. He's probably, like, too tired and wants to be comfy all the time. And, like, I do love that stance. And I've been practicing, like, loosening up my anatomy and just, like, you just, it just doesn't have to be so specific all the time. Like, I started doing art in, like, the D&D &D realm where there was so much, like, realism. Mm -hmm, and like yeah. people sometimes get stuck in the idea that realism is like the best which like it's its own type of style it yeah, doesn't make you better or worse it's one you method know, definitely it's one way to do it yeah um so i've been trying to loosen up so i'm excited to see your like more cartoony interpretation definitely. that you said I, very iconic i went for a lot of um i wanted it to be shapey i yes. think particularly because um detectives you really can go two different ways you can go did Julia, with her fashion designing self, create mm -hmm. this, or did, um, or did Nathan, yeah. Nathan Drawfee, who doesn't know fashion? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, draw it. Oh my gosh! I love you, Nathan. You're my favorite. Um, oh no! People are gonna think we're beefing. We're oh, not. No. Okay. I know we've we've never been in a video together, and our names are both Nathan, and that's confusing. But we're friends. <laughs> Or we're friendly. I don't know. You gotta you just abandon ship. We gotta start I'm over. I'm digging the whole. Delete the art. Oh, no. Delete the video. D delete the video. We're logging off. Um, Going to the woods. We're logging off. <laughs> um, um, ribbons. I so his outfit was so lame. I was like, this is the most boring. He's just wearing ballet stuff. So I was like, uh, what if he's just dumb and he just puts his ribbons everywhere? So I just put lots Aww. of ribbons on him. Um, which I think is cute. But one thing you did in your video that I loved was the face, which I won't say what decisions were made because you have to go see Reb's video Ooh. to know exactly what they were. Oh. But if you came from there, you already know that there were certain facial feature decisions that you made that I absolutely loved. And I want to make a new third design that kind of takes all my yeah. favorite pieces of it. Um, yeah, and I'm doing the yeah. flower cart that might be illegal. And oh no, a dead oh. man. Oh, where did he come oh, from? Oh my god. He's in the boat. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> he's probably important. But what do you, yeah, what's your react? What do you think of looking at? Oh my at god. <laughs> First of all, your background work is fucking amazing. Am I allowed to swear on YouTube? I did it anyway. Yeah, um, you're great. This is so. <laughs> This, oh, the oh the colors. Yeah, we're, we're oh. getting into water territory. Get ready for textures. Oh um, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Nona, I, I, she's so perfect. I just started watching um, Spy Family, and I am... It's very Spy Family. I'm Anya's little a little creature, and I'm, I'm happy about little creatures. I, as a little creature myself, this is... This is very, I love this. The ears are so good, what the well, hell? Well, I love the description of her being very short and having floppy ears. So I wanted them to be just mm -hmm. very long and cow-like, um, which I thought was yeah. yeah, just so cute. Um, A little floppy. And it is it is crazy how much she looks like Anya now that you've said that. And it's so weird that I <laughs> was referencing power and a Pokemon and somehow, <laughs> and somehow, it turns out if you fuse Flaffy the Pokemon, and you fuse Power from anime, 
you get Anya from Spy Fam. Like, it's literally, like, she has it the works. yellow. Like, her cuffs look just, like, Rev, I'm not kidding. Oh I did not God. make that. And she has oh. the horns. <laughs> this is very, We've done this it. is very funny. Um, Nathan, you cracked the code. I cracked the code. I wonder what You're other, the Matrix. what other characters, if you fuse a character with a Pokemon, you just make more anime. I guess they're all anime characters. It, I mean, yeah. <gasps> oh! I'm just adjusting all the colors. I wanted my yellows to be more yellow and my blues to be more blue. Um, and I'm finishing up all the little touches. And then in the bridge, who's that, who's that walking on that bridge? Ah! But the Drawtectus gang. So I have, oh. I I opted for a rosé. Um, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I almost said Ford from Critical Role. Um, no, this is York and Grendon slash grandma and Eugene. And so they're all coming because they're going to be investigating a crime. And our oh, little goobers are just with the dead body. Uh -oh. And they don't understand goobers. that they they are they are so incriminated and they're gonna be the number one subject. So they're just kind of like, wow. Oh, they gotta run. Yeah, a dead guy. Um, that's oh, amazing. Oh, the reflection. Yeah, I always love a good reflection. So. This is pretty much the finished image. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh but it's God. very lighthearted compared to your video. Yours is like, mine is like. It's so. The, yeah. Things get really bad I, for them. <laughs> things get bad real fast. Uh, go, you'll see, you'll see. Um, but yeah, I love the color values. I am, I am obsessed with like really saturated colors and like really like unusual shading kind of like, like things that make things pop. I really yeah. love the shading on Nona's hair. Yeah, like me too. Like... I used to be so afraid of saturation. I used to make everything mm -hmm. so desaturated and gray. I'm really trying to really bring it when it comes to vibrancy, because it just Hell makes yeah. everything so much more lively. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. But thank Have you so much for it. yeah coming on my channel and doing this amazing little collab. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. This is so good. I love, I just, oh. I also love, I listen, I love the the, the spiky hair. I know that the, the hairs are different, which if you haven't seen the other one, you will see it maybe, <laughs> or you have already seen it. The hair on Daiquiri is different, but I think that they're, yours is good and they're both good because character design, like the spike, you know how triangles? Yeah, how triangles. They, they do have like this pointed feature that I like a lot, so I think um, yeah. And there's also kind of like, each one almost looks like a strawberry, like of a yeah. strawberry daiquiri. And so maybe incorporating a little bit more of that, finding a happy medium. Um, but I'm excited to pour in some of your fashion inspirations for little Nona Toxic. Mm -hmm. I thank you so much for gifting me yeah. with them. Like she's so cool. <laughs> it's amazing. Of course. Um, I thank you. I'm excited to, I, I think I need to give her horns. I think I got to give yeah. her horns and a cool jacket and oh, definitely. maybe a tie. Okay. <laughs> so for the people of the internet who, if you don't know Rebecca Roney, you're crazy. Where have you been? Amazing. An icon. Um, just really wow. fun. Um, where can people find you? The people of the internet can find me um, basically anywhere with uh, at Rebecca Roney. Um, I mostly stream on Twitch. Uh, I'll be getting back to that soon. By the time this video is up, I think I will be streaming again more than I did. Um, I have a YouTube that I'm working on that you'll see the other videos over there. Also, yeah, uh, Rebecca Roney. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I have a Kofi also for various like tip jars and sneak sneakers support sneakrets. your artists especially support when the they're artists. so talented <laughs> thank you um yeah thank you so much for coming on and everyone listening let us know if you came from rebecca roney's uh video tell me yeah. what you think about these two designs uh make sure you tag for spoilers but what mm. do you think of seeing these two different interpretations uh what are your opinions on the storyline like we have a point a and like a point c but point yeah. b let me know what you think happened <laughs> that yeah. caused the, these two scenes to be correlated um let me know in the comments down below uh, as give this video a like subscribe if you really want to support it. me you can check me out on patreon where for just you know four dollars you can have your name in the end credits 
uh, which yes. are going to be playing right now. <laughs> wow, look at that. And that's a wrap. We did it. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, woo. <gasps> that was so fun. Special thanks to Anna SB, Axelius the Great, Blurryface EXE, Blue Ubu, K Clark, Christopher, Crystal NM, Dabadudu, Dax Quinn, MOE, Fro, Game of Catan on IG, Gray Gay Mothman, Gay Jarris, Haru the Moo, J. Johar, Joseph D.W., Lucky Paradox, Melon, Mild Mothman, Native Runner, Orion Amastasia, Pinecone, Poopy Tom, Potion, Red Ward, Rin, Scorching Ray, Sir Camelot, Smalls the Sax Jammer, Shernanigans, Thumper Daytime, Tortilla Chip, Tony, Tarthalinor, Tuesdays Anyways, Tundra Katie Beans, and Tuppence Pies. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for watching. I upload a new video every weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye!